Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss how we do shading. And shading is super important. And there are many ways you can do it actually. Uh, so I have a couple ways to show you here today. The first one is how to create it by using graphite. So I'm here, I'm using a graphite pencil. So why we do shading? All right. So shading, as you can see here, let's say we have a, a ball. If you just keep the lines here, those are, this is 2D, which is your lines are going this way and this direction, this direction and this direction. So you have to create a third dimension the third dimension is actually going further inside. So we see here and here, but we cannot go further in it. And to go further is adding a shadow. So the shading is, is really creating and defining the form of anything. And light comes in, shadow comes in, and it will create a form. So the first method is using lines, which is literally just making lines. So these lines create a shadow. Now you can see the difference between this one and this one. And when you add shadow, Now, we are creating that three-dimensional environment. How we use this in a drawing? Absolutely. I'll show you. So let's, uh, let's create a character here. I'm gonna do something very simple and easy. I'll say here. Something quick. So when you see those, those lines by itself, that's a 2D. Now to add uh, the third dimension, which is by shading, is use these lines. As you can see here, Okay, and keep them all uniformed in one direction. Now, this it created a form. Now that tells me there's a light coming in this way and uh, the light is not showing here. So you add the shadow. So this is the, the line samples. I think we'll work with, with faces. just to show you the shading. Okay, so the light course comes in this way, then you have your shadow here, and use the shading method of lines. Define the shape itself. lines those lines those lines are enough 
to create that form. The second method of shading is using charcoal. And what you do is just add dark area here. Just add it. And you can see Now what do you do is literally just use your finger and the edge, make it disappear. Look at this. If you want to correct things and it's fine, you just go ahead and, and erase. If you didn't like the edges, and you can see here that it's just extra lines. Just erase them. It's not a problem. Now, you can do the shadow the same way. And make it a little bit soft. Now you're creating a form. Let's so clean it. Clean it up a little bit. Yeah, simple. This, this is the building. Okay, yeah, those. Some. some buildings all I want to show is how to use the light and shadow in it so the sun comes this way then comes this way so you create a shadow here this area is going to be dark and this area is behind this building so it's going to be dark too and this all covered. Now, again, you just soften that area here. It's okay to be a mess. And if there is a light comes between the streets here, it's it's easy. You just can't you know, erase it. So now it's showing that there is a, a light from this side you know between the building uh, you can create a light comes you know out of the windows it's the same thing you just erase it so this method is with charcoal is, is good and easy and quick because uh, it's easily simple to to remove the charcoal because it's a soft charcoal. Now with the graphite, it's a little bit trickier and it takes longer time. It depends on what kind of graphite you're using and what kind of paper, what kind of eraser that you use. Also that makes a difference. So if the light comes from this side, now we correct this side of the building. 
which may be less shadow. It doesn't matter how crooked uh, the buildings are, I just want to show you the concept of creating that three-dimensional environment by using the shading, which is just the relationship between light and shadow. Our third method is it's cross hatch. So you literally, you just do those lines and then you cross them with other lines, different direction. So you can do it like you move your arm or you move the paper itself. And you create the shading. You can do it again here. Let's do it here. Okay, let's create a cube. Light source. Shadow here. And And now I'm just turn it. And the more lines you add, the more you darken the area itself. So let's say I want this to be darker. You go a different direction. Add more direction and there are also ways you can use the side of the pencil and you cover it and then you release your hand slowly so you can create that gradation or you can use a charcoal as I showed you but this is all work together, the same thing. It depends on what you choose, whatever your style you want to use, okay? This type of, of shading, used a lot because it's easier. Because with the lines, you know, you have to go. It takes, it takes some time. So, but when you use the, you know, you tilt your pencil and you just go slowly, slowly removing the pressure out of the paper. You create that. So you press first, the harder you get, you press on the paper, the darker it's going to be. And it gradually you're lifting the pressure from the paper. Okay, those are uh, methods to do it. Just a quick recap, this is the methods that we use. There are uh, the line methods, which is literally go with different direction if you want on the lines, can use a pencil, uh, it doesn't matter, just just use a, any pencil and you just do these lines will create shading by itself. Uh, let's say there is a simple flower here and, and you just add it to it. Leaf and leaf you can go 
just lines. The second one is just using a charcoal. Using charcoal, darken the area, and then just remove the edge. You create a shadow. You can do anything with this. This is like apple or something. Is that an apple? I don't know. That shadow of it, just remove the edge. You do the shading. And you can soften this if you want to go more in details. All right, the third one. Third one, we select like cross hatching, which is using the lines, and then you go across. And you can go across more, and you can go across more different directions. And the fourth one that we explain is just using the pressure. You, you tilt your pencil and you just add the graphite and when you move a little bit by a little bit release the pressure uh, from the paper the more you press the darker it's going to be so this is i'm i'm literally pressing on the paper now i'm removing it a little bit and I'm releasing more, releasing more, releasing more, and more. You see, now you create that effect. That's all I have for today. Please uh, continue practice and do these different types of shadings different styles it doesn't matter use whatever you like practice with them and see which one it works for you okay uh, i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much and i will see you next time